Caracas has too many walls. We totalized 8,000 kilometers of walls. This is 50 times as long as the Berlin Wall. As a result, there are 2,600 hectares of pack and lots, 27 times the area of the airbase La Carlota. Most of them without sidewalks to make the necessary pedestrian connections. Walking around Caracas provides for experiencing discontinuities. This is a way to improve the discussions around the model of city we live in. Caracas is a fractured city, hence it grew in scattered settlements of pieces that expanded until they touched each other. These fractures in the urban tissues are evident in elements such as water courses, topographic slopes, highways, the wall that separates one typology from the other, and residual spaces around the monofunctional grounds. All these elements contribute to accentuate the separation between the pieces of the city and between human lives as well. Due to traffic jams and connectivity conflicts in the urban grid, citizens in Caracas lose 40 days per year, and this is more dramatic for people who live in slums. Our city has severe problems in productive capacity, human connection, and sustainability. The main objective is to enlarge the chance for walking. It's necessary to incorporate a combination between public spaces and connectivity. For example, develop a simple street linked to a pre-existent as a way to promote the urban transformation of the city. Then, it is important to promote mechanisms that will tear down the walls that separate urban areas. The consequence could be the apparition of the concept of compactness, related to the character of the urban space and the proximity between urban phenomena. For example, housing can be overlapped with productive areas. Another concept to achieve in a model of sustainable city is complexity. This implies the promotion of combined usages that will promote other kinds of mixed conditions, social, economic, etc. Finally, creativity is the result of the two previous concepts. It increases the probability of human connection. To make this possible, we are thinking about many types of mixtures. The combination between profitable and not profitable lands, the coexistence of people from different social levels, the relationship between green open spaces and hard open spaces, and the classical concept of mixed usage. The urban project has the responsibility to work simultaneously in two directions. First, the reservation of lands for not profitable uses, like urban facilities, public libraries, community centers, public transport hubs etc. And, especially, social housing. Secondly, it is necessary to design policies and strategies that will finance the urban transformation. In socioeconomic sustainability terms, the paradigm around the mixture must include the conception of the social responsibility of the land. The best use is not necessarily the most profitable use. In a country with more than 50% of people living in slums, is an obligation to think about it. The residual areas must be integrated to the city and transformed into parks and squares. For example, the course of waters needs to be transformed into ecological corridors conceived with a system of public spaces. And the public space needs to be designed considering the continuity of the urban system in order to combine the human relations with the flow of the biotic tissues of the city, for example, birds of flying routes and trees corridors. The project needs to be thought in terms of its metropolitan and local relations. La Carlota, for example, could be the most important center of urban facilities in the country. The current areas and the city paths around it could be the place for powerful institutions linked with knowledge and creativity, such as universities, international headquarters, 
and technologies industries conceived as green buildings. And all of this should be complemented with socially diverse housing. The connections that promote compactness, complexity and creativity could generate other types of connections. A virtual cycle of transformation of the land into a sustainable city. This transformation needs a system of public spaces, including the promotion of the human connections as a key to transform the city in social terms. The project in the river, for example, has an impact in the entire valley, including the transformation of the watercourses and the avenues, natural and artificial urban corridors. In Caracas, the transformation of one of the most populated slums in Latin America, Petare, that has a population of more than 600,000 people living without public facilities. It's important to remember that according to the primitive Indian language, Petare means with the face to the river, and the relationship between Petare, the geography, and the city has a big history relevance. The idea of an environmental corridor at the south of La Carlota could be replicated as an urban space for the encounter between the informal settlement and the rest of the city, including the mixture of usage that we have presented. Furthermore, in Petare, we can find many types of cities clearly separated. The fractures are very strong. The transformation of these fractures into a complex system of public spaces with connections to the pre-existent values has to be the main paradigm to integrate Petari to the city. It is impossible to work around the mixture if we work only from a monofunctional conception of the space. In order to achieve these strategies, it is important to introduce other urban dynamics in La Carlota beyond its current use as an airbase. Incorporate national and international public facilities. Develop an overlap between profitable and non-profitable programs. Design strategies for financing the urban transformation. Promote a system of public spaces, including the articulation of the pre-existence with new spaces. Study a balance between public and private spaces. Work around new topologies that could be attractive for international headquarters, university, or eco-friendly industries. If we rethink really La Carlota as a way to transform the city, we can find much more than the 100 hectares of park in the actual airbase. We can achieve a sustainable city. The construction of the park in La Carlota depends on the transformation of the rest of the city. To transform the city, we have to define the model of the city we aim as a society, because Without the city, the park may not be sustainable. In short, our most important contribution to La Carlota is that the transformation has to be thought beyond the limits of the airbase, by breaking the wall and use back and loads around it as possible public space for human connections. We need to believe on the capacity of the city, its human relations, its productivity, as the most important resource to transform itself including the transformation of the current airbase into a park. In terms of compactness, complexity and creativity, the transformation of La Carlota and the space around it could be the seed for the transformation of the city in general and achieving a sustainable model of city. Finally, the most important element to achieve in a model of sustainable city for Caracas is through citizen participation mechanisms. To explain this, we can talk about the concepts of Antanas Mokus, who states that the infrastructure, 
public spaces, housing, and urban facilities represents the city's hardware, which need to have good designs with a combi combination of compactness, mixture, and continuity. In Mocus terms, the ideas and concepts of the people who use the city are the city's software. Without the citizen participation mechanisms, the transformation of the city, including the construction of a park in La Carlota, is an entelechy.